Hey guys, Mike Hanley from HanleyStrength.com. Uh, in today's video, I'm going to show you guys a uh, kettlebell windmill. All right, the reason that I wanted to do the kettlebell windmill is in the last video I did, um, we talked about some tips to increase your deadlift. And I find that after deadlifting, the windmill is a great exercise for your lower back and to get some, some extra flexibility in. Okay, so after my deadlifts, um, you know, I seem to be a little bit stiff for the next day. Um, so the, the day of my deadlift or the next day, I, I usually do some kettlebell windmills. All right, <clears throat> I'm, gonna throw, I'm gonna show you three um, variations of the kettlebell windmill. One's gonna be a beginner, one's a intermediate and a little bit more of a flexibility um, one, and the third one's gonna be more of a strength, a core strengthening uh, exercise, and um, it's gonna be a little bit more advanced, okay? So <clears throat> I'm gonna go through them. I have two kettlebells set up, okay? And the first one that we're gonna do is the intermediate. What I want you to do is take a shoulder width stance, a little bit wider, and then just turn your feet one way. Now, if I turn them to my left, I'm going to start the windmill on my right side, okay? My hand's going to be up, elbows locked, shoulders locked into his position. This leg is going to be completely straight, okay? You're allowed to have a soft bend in this knee, okay? But I want most of the weight staying on the right hip. Okay, so I'm going to push my hip back, very similar to a good morning, okay? We're going to push this back. This hand's going to slide down until it fe feels the kettlebell. Once I'm there, I'm going to brace my abs, push my right heel into the ground, and squeeze my butt to stand up. So my hip goes out, and my hip squeezes in. At all times, I'm looking at the top hand. Okay, so that's the beginner uh, kettlebell windmill. The second one that we're going to do, the intermediate, uh, now we're going to take the bell and we're going to bring it overhead. Okay, and if you can't keep your elbow locked and your shoulder stable in that position, okay, um, this could be a really tricky exercise. So you want to make sure you're ready for uh, bringing a kettlebell over your head. Okay, so we're going to bring this kettlebell overhead, okay? I'm going to point my feet to the left. My right hip is going to shift out. My hand is going to slide down, pushing my hip out to the right. I'm always keeping my eye on that kettlebell. Squeeze my hip in. Hip goes out. Turn my chest to the sky. Hip goes in. Let me give you another angle. You could also cross over to get more of a flexibility. Okay, but just make sure your spine, you're going to twist, spread your chest up to the sky, all the weights in this leg. Down and down. Okay, and the third one that we're going to do, I'm going to use both bells. Now I have two different size bells. If you do have two different size bells, the lighter one goes to the top hand, okay? So we're gonna place one near this leg. We're gonna clean this. Legs are shifted, we're locked up. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna shift my hip out until I feel this kettlebell. I'm gonna brace and stand. Hip goes out. And you'll notice my range of motion is not as much on this one because the handle of the kettlebell is a little bit higher. So this one, you're not going to get so much of a flexibility um, work. You're not going to get so much of the flexibility work, but you are going to get tremendous strengthening of your core. Okay, so three styles. Um, after the, the deadlifts, I like to use the intermediate style. I'll go down and I'll really try to get a stretch in my hip, you're going to feel it come through your back all the way down into your hip, okay? Um, it's a great, great exercise, the kettlebell windmill. Give it a try. If you have any questions, let me know on the blog, and thanks for watching.